All right, in today's episode, I'm going to talk about how to export audio from Logic Pro X in mono or stereo, which bitrate you should use. And in my tip, I'm going to share why alarm clocks are the worst thing ever invented. Okay, maybe not the worst thing ever invented, but they're pretty terrible if you want to feel good when you wake up in the morning. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you've ever wondered how to export mono files out of Logic Pro X, it's not obvious. It's actually kind of tricky. So that's what I want to show you how to do today. And then I'm also going to show you how to set the proper bit rate. What's the best bit rate for file size versus audio quality? I'm going to talk about that too. So let's get into it. Okay, so you've finished editing your Logic project, your podcast, and now you want to export it as mono. But whenever you select all, you can hit Command A and bounce, Command B to export the project. You come down here and you select bitrate mono, but you don't see one that says export as mono. So you think, okay, maybe it'll give me a mono file. Well, it won't. What you actually have to do is open up your mixer window by hitting X or going up to view and showing mixer. I just like to hit X, it's good. And you got to go to your output track right here and hit this little double circle button, which stands for a stereo track. And now you've got two mono tracks. And what you can then do is come down here and hit bounce. But wait, the problem with this is that it's going to bounce from the start of your project all the way to wherever the end is. And in this case, the end is way over here. <laughs> and that's you don't want to bounce all that empty space that'll show up at the end of your podcast file. So what you actually have to do is grab this little slider right here and position it where you want it. And then you can come back and zoom in and fine tune it. Scroll, 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 scroll. Say I just want it right here at the end. And now whenever I bring back my mixer window, I can hit bounce and it will bounce whatever bitrate mono that I choose. And in this case, my favorite bitrate for mono is either gonna be 64 kilobytes per second or 96. For most podcasts, I recommend 96. It's a good trade-off between audio quality and file size. If you're gonna bounce a stereo file for, like for example, if you have some stereo music in your podcast, you don't want, to be, want it to be mixed down to mono, then 128 kilobytes per second is good for stereo. If you want to go back to bounce a stereo track after you bounce your mono track, you just hit one of these buttons again. It'll go back to, the output will go back to being a stereo track. And then, like I showed you earlier, hit Command A and Command B. Make sure MP3 or whatever kind of export option you want is selected. And then hit Bounce. And I normally, I normally normalize on export, but that's totally up to you. Won't, maybe I'll have to get into that another day. So that's exporting a mono and stereo track inside of Logic Pro 10. Okay, so for today's life tip, are alarm clocks the worst thing ever invented? Y yes, no, yes. Well, kind of, both, really. Let me, let me explain. I like waking up super early. You might know this. You might have heard me talk about this on my podcast. I love getting up at 3, 4 a.m. and just busting out work all day, just getting stuff done going to bed tired. It's an awesome feeling, but I did that a couple weeks ago, and by the end of the week, I was really burnt out. I was trying to stay up late, in this case late is like 10, 11 o'clock, and wake up super early with an alarm clock at 3 or 4, and I, by, you know, by the end of the week, I just felt like crap. I couldn't go anymore, so I said, all right, I'm going to take a week off, and I'm just going to sleep, and I'm going to try sleeping, and then just letting my body wake me up when I've had enough rest. And after doing this for three or four days, I realized something. I was sleeping about the same, you know, I need about seven and a half, eight hours of sleep a night, but waking up without an alarm clock, I feel so much better. So I think, I mean, I'm lucky to not have to, not have to wake up super early for a job. I get to wake up when I choose. But if you have to wake up for a job, what I'd encourage you to do is try to go to bed an hour or two earlier and then leave your alarm clock on but get up whenever you wake up, and I think you'll find that you'll wake up before your alarm goes off, and then you'll feel better when you wake up. You'll feel better throughout the day, and you won't have to use your alarm clock. And after you do that, I think after you do that for three or four days, you're going to see that you feel just much better, and you're more productive, and you're happier. So are alarm clocks necessary sometimes? Sure. 
Are they necessary all the time? No. Will you sleep better and feel better during the day if you don't use an alarm clock? I think so. So I hope that was helpful to you and I will see you next week. Let me know if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer or talk about. Send me topics. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep coming up with whatever I feel like talking about because it's my show. I'll see you next time. So, you guys might be wondering why my video looks so great today and why it sounds different. Well, my mom is going to a mission trip, going on a mission trip to Serbia, I think, and she's got an old uh, iPhone 5. Not even the 5S or the 5C, just an iPhone 5. And I've been trying to get her an upgrade, having some problems with that. Anyways, I figured I'm going to swap phones with her. I have the iPhone 6S Plus. It, it has a great, great camera. So I'm like, Mom, let's just swap SIM cards. I'll erase mine, do the whole restore, and you can take my phone and we can switch back when you get back. So I don't have my iPhone 6S Plus to shoot with, which is what I normally shoot with. So I'm shooting with my Canon DSLR and the Rode, what is that? The Rode H4n. Kind of a new setup, but hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it's still okay for the video. Well, whatever, it's, it's good. It's better than an iPhone, right? Maybe. All right, I'll see you next time. Get out of here. Go. Go.